It's here, finally. Beta FPV. The whoop to end all whoops. HD. Beta FPV madness. Let's take a look. Yeah, life is on the line and everybody crack. I've been chewing the last since 1999. I've been moving around since I could drive a whip, whip, whip. I've been on this Henny since I took a sip, sip, sip. Puff it, puff it, pass, pass, then dip. Cause I be on some shit. Alright guys, rather than going through all the specs of this thing, I'm just going to tell you the most notable things. And the most obvious one being that, according to Beta FPV, this is the smallest HD whoop in the world. You just slip a little SD card in here, and your HD whooping the size of your palm, basically. So this can go all sorts of places that other cameras can't fit. Now it's a 2S whoop. Another notable thing is that it uses the BT 2.0 connector that Beta FPV has invented. Um, they say, and Joshua Bardwell agrees, so I'm not going to argue with it, that this is an all around better connector for 1 and 2S whoops. So in case you don't have any of those batteries, you can either buy some of the Beta FPV ones, you can just solder up your own. BT 2.0 connectors or you can buy the ones that come with it. So other things it comes with is a set of props, a 3 to 4S LiPo charger. This charger is actually really cool. I wish I had a battery I would show you but you just plug it in it reads your voltages, charge on off, on off. So you don't have to uh, keep it on all the time. It comes with this nice little case, it comes with an extra canopy and two LiPos. So that is it. We're going to keep it short and sweet on the review part, at least on the spec part. But I want to fly it a little bit and I want to see what's possible with this thing. Let's see uh, what all we can get done with it, if it's practical or not. Let's go. Plug it in. Should be on. Make sure the lens is clean. All right, let's try not to fall in the pool. And here we go. So I've got the same rates as my five inch on here for now. Not sure how it looks till we get inside, obviously. The quad is super stable, especially for a micro. And I'm, I've got the same rates as my five inch on it. So it's gonna take a little adjusting because the quad is smaller. Generally, you want to slow down your rates a little bit on these smaller uh, quads. Let's go in here and see what happens. I can still see everything in the goggles. I don't know what the, uh, the glare is doing with the exposure change. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Let's do a little punch out. Not bad. That wasn't even full stick, I don't think. Let's try again. I just don't want to fall in the pool. <laughs> Okay, not bad. Just what I thought it would be. Let's go around here, do a little dive action. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got caught in the wind for a sec. Oops, oops. All right. Let's go back to conservative mode. So let's say that I wanted to film this. Let's try and orbit. There we go. Whoops. All right. So again, we're going to have to see what the HD footage looks like, but in the goggles, it's looking pretty good. It, it is a little jumpy at times, like right there, but that's to be expected with a whoop. I mean, this thing is literally the size of my palm. So let's go up here, check these palm trees. Over that water go through here stuff like this let's go back here a little bit 
That was cool. Yeah. Four minutes, 12 seconds. Not bad. Just to be fair, I went ahead and threw a fresh set of propellers on. Now it's cruising real smooth. So quiet, the bird didn't even really hear it coming. And I think this is where it shines. It can do all three styles, but it uh, some nooks and crannies and small gaps, tight areas um, with some golden hour type lighting. Okay, final thoughts on this thing. I love it. Uh, compared to my other HD, well, this isn't a whoop, but this is a three inch toothpick. I would take this all day. They're similar prices. This is a little bit cheaper, but when you have this much power, rocking 4S and all that, first of all, the picture on this somehow is better. Um, and this is like too close to a five inch for me. It's fast, it's punchy. Uh, I tried to go through my attic with this. <laughs> if you've seen my Instagram, I'll post the video here. And it was pretty much impossible. I guarantee you I could easily do it with this. I'm not going to try because it was a pain opening all that stuff and setting up lights. But this thing could easily... Uh, it's way more controlled, way more throttle resolution. Uh, the 2S. Indoors, it would be even better than it was outside if you had the proper lighting and stuff. I'll put a link to it in the description. I'll put a US link, race day quads or something, and then I'll put an international link from Banggood or Beta FPV. Who knows, check both links. They may have, uh, sometimes Banggood ships from the US anyway, so check it out. Uh, I will be giving all of these away, unfortunately, on Patreon. If you are not a member of my Patreon, we've hit 30 members, which means I'm giving away my 5-inch. Um, insert clip here, I guess. And then after that's done, I'll give this away, which is a 3-inch 4S HD toothpick. And then, boom, this one. And all kind of other stuff, too. I regularly give away LiPos, cameras, VTXs, all that good stuff. So, yeah, guys. See you on the next one, and peace.